Hello students, I am going to show you how to convert this picture weave into orthographic weaves or isometric weave into orthographic projection. So for the clear understanding of this one, I have one more diagram. So this will show you how it will look only in front view. This red portion, red shaded portion will appear in the front view and green shaded portion will appear in the top view and when you observe this uh, image from the left side view we can see only this rectangular portion and we have to indicate this hollow portion so i will open solid edge software so in that one we have to select drawing i hope we have gone through the basic tools usage so i will do sheet setup first sheet setup select a4 size sheet remove this background and click on ok then select fit so draw one common line then above this line as per the given diagram the base length is 100 and this gap this is slant edge this gap is at a distance of 20 mm from this one so in front view only we can see this portion so draw this one go through the dimension once 100 mm total dimension is 45 and this step dimension is 20 as well as the slant edge is up to 20 so i will draw first 100 mm line just enter 100 press enter key then you can directly take 45 this side the total height 45 enter since slant gap is 20 so i will go for 20 here then simply you can join this so this side also same once again 45 height this slant gap is 20 then join this tip the trim the line which is not required to you trim these two lines these two lines then go to the diagram again this step gap this gap is 15 here this gap is 15 and this deep so total 45 is there we have to minus 20 from this one so the remaining gap will be 25 here so i will draw this gap as 15 1 5 enter then this gap will be 25 enter draw the straight line similarly in the given diagram this gap is 30 so you can draw from other side or directly you can enter the value 30 then take a parallel line then join this so this will be the front view of the diagram then you select the line tool again extend the lines so that you can project the top view extend the lines from the each and every point of the front view so front view is already finished extend the lines from all points and to distinguish the projection line you take select tool select one line press hold control and select all projection line and in the menu you just change the thickness of the projection line so that it will be very thin so then you draw top view as i told in top view only this portion will appears so for colorful representation i will show you again so here it is the total length of the bar then this one here when you look from the top we can see the dimension 40 so that one you have to draw here dimension 40 you enter the value then close the box since it is a rectangle from the top view then close this point also because when we look the diagram from the top we can see all this 
smaller rectangle. This completes your top view. Then since left side view is given, it will come on right side. Draw one straight line and both the line meets from the middle of this line. You draw a line of angle 45 degree. So when you enter 45 degree, it will go upside. Press tab button. Enter minus 45 degree. So it will go down. Just simply draw the line. So similar to the last one, you just change the thickness of the line to the 0.13 and project the lines from the top. So touch until it reaches to 45 degree line. When it reaches to 45 degree line, you extend the line to the top. Similarly, from the front view, you extend projection lines. So from this point also, extend the projection line. And this point also extend the projection line. To distinguish the line, select all projection lines and reduce the thickness of the projection line using menu. So now how it looks in the side view. In side view, it looks like a rectangle but carefully you draw the line so if portion is not visible you just select a zoom tool and select it so take the line tool carefully select this line so if the cross section or the points where meeting intersection if it is not showing go to tools IntelliSketch, you select this parallel symbol as well as intersection point, click OK, then take line tool. So now it is showing the cross mark. So here also on the cross mark, here also cross mark, this side also cross mark, join this one and go to fit. So now this portion you have to show dotted lines as the portion is hollow here. So you draw the line, take this point, cross point and cross point, select the line and convert that line to dotted lines from the man. So now this diagram is completely finished. Just go through this one, front view, top view, side views. So now trim the unwanted lines. You can trim this, the lines which are extra unwanted lines you can just trim only trim this so here you trim all extra lines this line let it be as it is for the confirmation you can show at least three dimensions use smart dimension tools this is 15 this is 30 this is 15 again top view this is 40 and this should be 100 and inside view this is 45. We can show minimum three dimensions. Thanks for watching.